I'm a bionicorn. My daughter has a basket that we use to store all of her toys. In the morning, all of those toys are in the basket. And throughout the day, what usually happens is that she dumps the basket out and spreads toys all over the house. But then, at the end of the day, we pick up all the toys and put them back in the basket. I call this the law of conservation of toys. The same number of toys that she has at the beginning of the day is the number of toys she has at the end of the day. This idea is similar to the law of conservation of energy, which says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. One particular application of this is Kirchhoff's voltage law, which says that the sum of voltage rises and voltage drops around any loop in a circuit is equal to zero. I'm a binacorn. For example, consider this circuit that has a voltage source and three resistors. In this circuit, we're going to find the current I. We find that Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that the sum of voltages around the circuit is equal to zero. So let's start at the lower left-hand corner and work our way clockwise around the loop. We will use whichever sign we come across when we perform the process in this way. For example, if we reach the first voltage source and see a minus sign, we're going to use that sign. So we can write out the KVL expression as negative 12 plus V1 plus V2 plus V3 equals to zero. Now we note that the voltage across a resistor is I times R due to Ohm's law. So applying this, we're gonna get negative 12 volts plus seven I plus 10i plus 3i equals zero. If we move the negative to the other side and collect, we get 20i equals 12, or in other words, i is equal to 12 over 20, or three over five, or finally, 0 0.6 amps. One notable consideration is that we will assume the voltage across the resistor is always positive, as we will see in the next example. In this example, consider the circuit with one independent source, one dependent source, and two resistors. We're gonna solve for the current I again. Let's write the KVL expression. This expression tells me that negative eight volts plus three times I volts plus 10I plus three I equals zero. Solving for I, we're gonna get 16I is eight volts or I is 0 0.5 amps. And I wanna point out that let's not get scared by the dependent source. It's just a voltage source that has a value three times I volts. These examples cover the basic fundamentals of applying KVL. Okay, so the big takeaway from this video is that as we go around a circuit, the voltage rises equal to the voltage drops. That is the same principle as my law of conservation of toys, where throughout the day, the same number of toys leave the basket as go into the basket. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. As always, if you think I've earned it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Now I've got to stop before I fall off the boardwalk.